Hi, I'm Brandi Thompson. This is Michelle Romero. We work here at Gateway Community College with the surgical services programs, hospital central service, surgical technology, and operating room nursing. Come on in, we wanna show you our OR. Welcome to our OR simulation lab. This is where the action happens. Our sterile person, the surgical technologist, learn a variety of instruments, and they also learn a variety of surgical procedures, from general surgeries to orthopedics to cardiovascular. This is also where the action happens, where we teach our operating room nurses how to circulate and manage the OR. They also get a taste of how it is to scrub in and assist the surgeon. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Michelle. Now that you've seen what happens in the OR, I'm gonna take you through what happens with Hospital Central Service. As Brandy mentioned before, all three of our programs incorporate surgical services. That means we mainly support the operating rooms and the rest of the floors and clinics and facilities within a hospital. We need to have a place that holds all the instrumentation and all the supplies that we need. Right now, we're in what we call the press or the sterile core. We have anything from suture to instrumentation and all of the supplies that they could need on the floors and the ORs themselves. And this is where cases begin and procedures begin. We pull the cases, then they go up to the OR. Hospital Central Service, or what we call Central Sterilizing Processing, has many areas or departments within the big department. After a procedure is finished in the OR, it comes down to the decontamination area. This is where we do our manual and mechanical cleaning and clean off gross debris and make sure instrumentation is good for sterilization and for tray assembly, which we'll hit next. The next step that instrumentation takes in the hospital's central sterilizing cycle is that it comes from decontamination through mechanical washers to an assembly area. Here, we either peel pack items separately or we prepare all of the trays. Hospital Central Service learns all the names of the instrumentation so that they can use count sheets and put trays together so that the next step is sterilization. The last step our instrumentation and supplies take in Hospital Central Service is our prep and pack areas. Here we are wrapping items, we are peel packing items, and then they go back to the press and the core and eventually back to the operating room. In our surgical technology program, you will learn how to gown and glove yourself, how to gown and glove your surgeon, as well as your instrumentation knowing what the surgeon is gonna ask for, anticipating what they need for the different types of procedures, as well as learning the anatomy and all the procedures from general surgery to cardiovascular. You're also gonna work with your team member, your circulator, or your operating room nurse, and you're going to learn the roles of both the surgical tech as well as the circulator so that you can work together and have the best possible outcome for your patients. Thanks for touring our surgical services departments. If you're interested in getting any information about our surgical services program, please visit gatewaycc.edu and look up Hospital Central Service, Surgical Technology, and Operating Room Nursing.